Question chat. God of War Ragnarok combat and combat and enemies elevated. What is what does this video entail? Okay. What does this video entail before I watch it? Is it just like talking about how, you know, they upped it up a notch, how things are gonna be different? You don't know, IDK? Gameplay combat updates? I mean it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt to just peek. It wouldn't it wouldn't just hurt it wouldn't hurt to peek. Someone no spoilers? Okay, no spoilers. No. I mean, I'm pretty sure it would be no spoilers, because this was on this was posted by PlayStation. Like they wouldn't just fuck up the whole thing. Yeah, PlayStation. They would they wouldn't just mess up their whole thing. Mature. Mature. Hold on now, hold on now. Like get me get me in there, man. Give me from a combat perspective, I always and I still feel like the meat and potatoes of any God of War game is combat. This is like this is this is this is, it's it's almost here. It's almost here. I miss watching your streams. I got a job and haven't had the time. This is my first time donating. Congrats on your child, yo. Thank you so much. And and I'm glad you were able to make it to this one. I'll make sure I'll make sure to try to make you laugh as much as possible. Where do you work, man? Oh my god! I, 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 like, should I should I watch this? Oh! Wait, is wait, is it gonna be like multiple videos leading up to its release? Cause that was like branching off into like different stuff. Uh, Roberto Clemente, uh, and all my friends call me Bert. Uh, I'm a senior combat animator here at Sony Santa Monica. My name is Kim Wynn, and I'm a gameplay animator. Okay. Hi, I'm Sabra, and I'm a senior VFX artist on God of War Ragnarok. Okay. My name is Grace Pan, and I'm a gameplay animator in God of War Ragnarok. Okay. Hi, I'm Steven Ohawa GBA, combat designer on God of War. And I create interesting and memorable creatures. That Damn, they got they got people from all over. I like it. That players like to attack and defend against. Usually it's just like, hi, I'm Brad. Hi, I'm John. Hi, I'm Jacob. Hi, I'm. <laughs> As an animator, you gave life to characters. You make them move. You gave them personalities. You gave them. He's so damn. T I need this. I need this game. I need it. Wait. This is so fire. I don't even know. Like, what is happening? My role as a VFX artist is to put the power behind a move. You are in control of fire and earth. I thought he was giving him a haircut. And water and wind. Whether you are throwing your axe or on the receiving end of an enemy spell, VFX is what really gives the movement and the danger to every move that a character or enemy makes. I work really closely with the design team and Thank the him. tech art team on this project specifically. We actually work a lot with camera along with the guidance of our great camera team. So I find myself doing Ooh. fight choreography sometimes. That, that, like, that shit is crazy. Look at him, bro. One of the challenging parts about being a combat designer isn't the technical implementation of creating a creature, but it's really navigating that line between frustrating and engaging. We want to make something that makes players lean mm. forward and focus and really try hard against an enemy and feel good about overcoming that. Mm -hmm. But we don't want to make them feel defeated if they can't figure something out. Right. It feels real. You know who don't care about none of that? Uh... When you when the Souls games, bro, they don't give a fuck about none of that, man. Nah, we want this. We want this guy to beat your ass. We, we don't care. We don't care how you feel, bro. Good luck. Like what the fuck? Warding when you win, not because it was impossible, but because it was fun and engaging. Oh my god! After the last game, we've heard the community cry out for more mini bosses. And I'm glad. I'm glad they heard that. As good as that game was, it was nothing but trolls and droggers and, and and that was really it bro like different skins of like these these big juggernauts or whatever i'm glad they heard that so i'm, I'm excited for the variety and plus i wanted to see like different types of like you know kill animations on the enemies i could only stomp a nigga's chest out so many times you feel me bigger creatures and enemy variety and this time we really leaned into that so in God of War Ragnarok, you're going to be traveling to all nine realms and each realm is going to have like its own theme of enemies that are very unique to that space you work at Schlotsky's. What is Schlotsky's? 
For example, in Alfheim, we're familiar with the Dark Elves, but this time around, we're going to be fighting Light, light elves, elves, such as the Light Elf Warrior. Oh, shit! One of the key learnings from the last God of War game is we don't have to think about the camera and how close combat is going to feel. We already have that knowledge, so we can build upon the close nice. camera that we have. Nice. And we can iterate on enemies, creating more interesting scenarios. It's a sandwich place? Crazy. I had never heard of that. Slotchkeys. Maybe I have. I just didn't know. In the last game, Atreus was just starting to fight alongside Kratos, and he was learning from the master tactician. So in what the fuck was that? Last game, Atreus was just starting to fight alongside. This is the first game. Kratos, and he was learning from the master tactician. Yo, I, I, I didn't unlock that move. So in this game, he's trying to prove himself a little bit more, and we built upon those mechanics with him. The previous God of War, Atreus was still a kid, right? Yeah. So he has a lot of dependency on his father. And for this game, he did they change the WSG don't I? Did I'm gonna start streaming after Christmas. Okay. You're my fav streamer, so I didn't wanna hear it from anyone else. You got any pointers for new streamers? Yes. Coming from BTW. Definitely, definitely be yourself, bro. Like, you don't wanna be a streamer who streams and, like, obviously you might have, like, some... You, you might have some of the traits of your favorite streamers that you watch, but you definitely wanna be your own person. Otherwise, you have people in your chat being like, this person clone, that person clone. You kind of trying to be like this person. You can't. You, you are you trying to be like this person? Da da da. And then they just your whole chat is just filled with people talking about a whole another person. It's just annoying. You will see Atreus moving more independently on his own as a companion. You see how Kratos was looking at him? Who you think you are, Spider Man? You will see Atreus moving more independently on his own. Oh nah, some tell me he finna get on my nerves. Cause last in the first game he was he was once he found out he was a god or like part god or whatever the hell he is. He started acting different, and he was pissing me off, thinking he was grown, and then he got fucking bodied. Tried to go Super Saiyan and pass the fuck out. I feel like he really gonna piss me off in this game, man. As a companion. In regards to VFX for Kratos, I think what the players really love is the powerfulness of it. Yeah. When you are playing as Kratos, you really do feel like the god of war. Ooh. And moving into Ragnarok, we want to really make something bigger, make it stronger, make it more of a spectacle. You want them to be mm, like, oh mm, my gosh, mm. I didn't know that the Blades of Chaos could get even better, but look at that. Oh my god! Gosh, I didn't know that the Blades of Chaos could get even better, but look at that. It's, yo, that's overkill. That thud was enough. That thud was enough. And then it's like, oh my. Blades of Chaos could get even better, but look at that. Well, as Kratos gets more powerful, you can have access to newer combos and newer abilities that will increase the combat depth of each weapon. For the Blades, one of the moves that I've really enjoyed from previous God of War is the combat grapple, and we're going to be bringing that with a new twist. I'm very excited for players to try the Blade Grapple traversal moves. That brings so much more speed into... Yo, these, these women look so innocent and nice. I can't see them like sitting there being like, Oh, yo, check this out. Yo, we gonna make that shit thud down. And then he gonna grab him and it's gonna rip... Look, look, watch this, watch this. It's gonna ripple through and boom. Like, god damn. The movement and the They popping off right now. It. One of the ways we've expanded Kratos' combat this time around is we've given more utility and choice to his shield loadout. Mm. If you are a parry person, you could really go for a shield that gears towards parrying. If you're I a love big a good blocker, parry. then you could choose a shield that will really match your playstyle. One new mechanic or element that I'm really excited about is these combo finishers. Building up the stun meter this time around is going to lead to different ways to oh, yeah. basically to cap. That's my favorite. Like, this is what I wanted. More variations in those type of kills. Those little cinematic kills. Finishers. Building up the stun meter this Slit his throat. time around is going to lead to different ways to basically damn, to cap damn. the enemy. You're going to be able to choose, you know, which weapon you want to have when you kill a guy. Another feature you want to have when you kill a guy. Another feature that we've added for Kratos is his new pre-fall attack. Oh! Another feature that we've added for Kratos is his new pre-fall attacks. So you could jump off a ledge, and if there's an enemy below you, you could slam down on him. Damn! Oh, that combo is crazy. 
对对 There's such an emphasis on verticality in some of these fights that it's super engaging. And as Kratos, now that you have so much mobility and that you can also take advantage of that verticality, I think it just adds such another interesting layer to a fight. In God of War Ragnarok, we've enhanced the Kratos and Atreus duo. He's、okay. going to initiate a little bit more, be aggressive. He's going to fight alongside you, and sometimes even surprise you with his combo. Nah, because he was in the last game when you would be fighting, he'll run and like run up, jump up on your back, and like shoot like three arrows and shit. Abilities too. Some of the new expanded. That boy mad as hell. Times even surprise you with his combo. What the、too. fuck? Damn, damn. Some damn. of the new expanded companion actions that you'll see Atreus do leverage the fact that he's older now. He's bigger now, and he's different from Kratos. So his magic has a different flavor. That's so fire. That that that's fire. Not only that, the fight side by side together,、um, there are also a lot of mini games and you know player interaction moments. For example, like the puzzle systems、oh, and the、no. set pieces. You definitely、oh, will、no. see、puzzles. a lot more collaborations between father and son. Pretender God. Odin must have sent them. There is so much that goes into building a big set piece. You basically iterate and iterate and iterate, and it takes testing and just seeing what works to really figure out the personality of something. Basically, every department gives it their all to make things really spectacular. Oh my god, that little frog getting fucked up! God damn, he's just a frog. There were a lot of different times that I would look back at God of War games just through the ages before 2018.、Oh、god, there were so many at- oh my god, look at great- amazing. Huge boss fights and set pieces that it was a huge inspiration for me on my time on this project. Oh my God, you a W for the old father! Yo, I don't know who who does that voice for that whoever、uh, for the Valkyrie, but she sounds fire. Her delivery is just crazy. On my time on this project. Our design philosophy for creating new and memorable enemies is basically making them a combat puzzle, similar to like chess, and focusing on the chess pieces. Each piece has its own theme and its own use. Yeah, you need to be able to see what's happening in an instant and be able to react as the player. Weave. Oh my god. There's a couple of different ways that we go into making an attack very readable for、They're、the player.、Spoiling. Sometimes、They're、we、spoiling. add a signature audio cue, or we'll add the different rings, such as what we did in the last game,、mm. that lets you know that this attack is unblockable. You need to dodge it. Mm. Mm. There's so many different ways that the effects really helps. Not just show what an enemy is about to do, but show who the enemy really is. Everything you design has to be surrounding the essence of the character and a story. It's what makes it believable and memorable in the first place. I think what I'm most excited about is for players to experience the diversity of enemies that this game has to offer. Ah, my God! You will be fighting everything from small little creatures the hell to things that will take up the entire screen. Oh! I like、All、what I'm hearing. All of their designs run the gamut. I think each one looks so much different from the next one. Cause it's like, how do you top a dragon? How do you top a dragon, bro? And each of them have their own play styles and their own little fantasies that go into it. And so、Damn. I think if you are really、Bitch. into Norse mythology, you'll be very interested to see how、oh, Sony Santa Monica has taken some of these creatures and interpreted them for God of War. Everything that goes into the game, there's emotion behind it and intent behind it. And by the time it gets to you, everything that you've seen, that you're going to play and experience, has been sweated over, bled over, tested, and is fun to play. Yo, they didn't even cut the head off. He cut this whole part of the body off. Holy shit! Oh my god! 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 O